It's one of the driest areas in Europe and it's getting even drier. Andalusia in Spain's southeast has never been blessed with frequent rainfall, so when you add a highly industrialized agriculture sector with its heavy use of natural resources, the rapid desertification of the land is the result. Southeast of Spain has always been the most arid area of Europe, and with climate change, the difference with other areas is even bigger. So we try with different methods to save and use any rain we get in the most efficient way. CDTN first met Miguel two years ago. His work for Al Valal, an eco-business association, has centred on a process known as regenerative agriculture, using old, less intensive farming methods, allowing the land to rehabilitate. Well, I'm currently standing uh, in what used to be uh, a riverbed uh, in Murcia, which is in Spain's south. And this is really uh, in the front line in Spain's battle against rapid desertification. Now, uh, take a good look around you because climate change experts say that uh, if desertification is allowed to continue at this pace, then this is what 70% of Spain's landscape will look like by the end of the century. Spain is one of the worst affected, with a fifth of the country already suffering from desertification, but it's a problem being faced by regions and countries all over the world, including the US, Italy, Greece, North Africa and the Middle East. For Miguel, the globalisation of agriculture has been a major factor. His solution? Think smaller. We need to use crops that are appropriate for a specific area. They need to be able to adapt to the climate in the region, to the soil, the atmosphere and the methods of farming in that area. Finding solutions to this global issue is one way to help reduce the impact that climate change has here in one of the driest regions in Europe.